Good evening. I'm Cathy Alexander. I'm um, the Chair of the Administrators of the City of Greater Geelong. Um, and I'd like to thank you all for coming along tonight. There might be some more people coming in. It's a, a, um, a reasonably um, a difficult time. Um, I noticed that we've got some people here who actually um, were in one of uh, the workshops that we held yesterday. So you're either really enjoying this stuff or you're keeping an eye on us. Um, both, both things are okay. Um, we certainly do know uh, that Geelong residents are very passionate uh, about the city and, and about the region. So it's no surprise to see um, uh, that people are wanting to get involved in uh, discussing our future. And uh, as you're aware, uh, Peter Dorling, Lorinda Gardner and I, and Peter Dorling is here this evening, who is another uh, of the administrators uh, of the City of Greater Geelong, and unfortunately Lorinda uh, is, well, fortunately for, for Lorinda, she's actually on holidays, but unfortunately for us, uh, she's had to be an apology this evening. Um, and uh, we've been appointed as administrators uh, by the Victorian Government to replace the City's Council until next year. We've been tasked with addressing the Commission of Inquiries report and its recommendations, one of which is to develop a unifying 20 to 30 year vision for the municipality as a whole that sets clear strategic directions for the future. Um, we believe that this is a really, really important piece of work to do and we're looking to engage over 25,000 people in that process. Um, that's about one in every 10 people in the municipality. And um, we want to include every perspective, business, residential, not-for-profit, young people, older people, um, and, uh, and indeed, importantly, we even want to engage the people and the, and the places that we're connected with. We're putting a lot of work into informing our community about the issues we face as a city and a region, and what other cities around the world are doing to address what are actually global challenges of economic uncertainty, demographic change, rapid technology advancement, and climate change. We can't actually control these things. Every city is facing them. What we can do, though, is we can plan for them. And there are indeed many cities who are planning for them so well that they've turned what could be threats into very important opportunities and indeed economic success. And we believe that we can learn from the successes of others and use the knowledge to turn challenges into opportunities for Geelong. I've been pretty committed to community participation for my entire career. I believe that informed community participation is a very powerful influencer of politicians. And um, I think informed participation is the best type. I've never seen it fail that a community that understands the issues and the problems can help solve those problems. And any solution is actually one that the community can live with. So unless you've got uh, a solution that the community can live with, um, as a politician, you're over. So don't underestimate your power of engagement um, in this process. We're really lucky to uh, have with us to help us think about these issues impacting on cities and possible futures um, Professor Sahail Iniatala. Sahail has presented a number of workshops in Geelong this week, um, and he's here tonight to arm us with the knowledge about the global trends that will change our lives in the next 20 years, and how those trends will impact you, your families, your industries, and our communities. Tonight's presentation is the beginning of an ongoing and informed conversation that we want to have with you in order to build a unifying future vi vision for our community. 
So Hao received his doctorate from the University of Hawaii and started his career as a futurist in 1981, the year of my daughter's first daughter's birth, actually, so that was a good year. He was awarded the first UNESCO Chair in Futures Studies and is the Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Futures Studies. He's also a renowned author. Sahal has written and co-edited 22 books and CDs, more than 350 journal articles, book chapters, encyclopedia entries and magazine editorials. He was awarded the Laurel Award for All-Time Best Futurist by the Shaping Tomorrow Foresight Network. So he's clearly the perfect person to start us thinking about where our city fits in the world and the global issues and trends that we need to consider in our future planning. We know that one of Sahal's favourite parts of his work is helping individuals and organisations to get to the aha moment where they can see a new future that will help them reach their full potential. And indeed, in the workshops that I've been in with Sahal, I've actually had a few aha moments myself. I have quite a few every day. Maybe it's just part of the um, lack of brain network at the moment. But certainly he's a very stimulating outside the square thinker. We're so glad Sahal could come to Geelong and share his knowledge and experience with us and we're very excited to start this discussion as a community of what Geelong's future could look like so that we can reach our own aha moment. And I just want to say one more thing. Yesterday we had a fabulous um, presentation on the history of Geelong. And Geelong has changed and reinvented itself at least four times in its history. So it's a very adaptive, um, uh, well-considered, uh, well-planned uh, history and heritage behind it. So um, I think we can uh, be very, very proud of that and go forward with um, an even better opportunity to do something in the future for our community. Thank you very much. And uh, Sahal, would you like to begin your presentation? Thank you. Thank you. 